In today's Speak a Card reading, we're going to go over what your fur baby thinks of you, whether this is a cat or a dog or a horse or a rabbit or a turtle, whatever it is that you would like to know when it comes to what they think of you. And if you have been around, then feel free to skip right to your reading. And if you're brand new to this channel, welcome to this community. Thank you so much for being here. My name is JC Everly. I'm an energy reader, and this channel is all about connecting with your highest divine self. And if you're brand new and totally new to pick a card readings on this YouTube land, all you have to do is pick a number between one. So over here, pick the pile that you're most drawn to, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Once you've chosen your number, go down to the description box below, click on the timestamp that correlates to the number that you've chosen, click on the timestamp, and that is where your reading will start today. And without further ado, let's start with pile number one. Hello, pal number one. How are we all doing? Welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you for this very fun topic. I've literally never seen any reader on YouTube do this. And I was so inspired in the middle of the night and I came up with this idea and I felt like I really needed to do this. I'm not sure why, but also I would love to perform this reading. We love our fur babies. I love animals to bits. I travel to see animals. Animals is one of my top three joys of life. It's probably number one in everything that is under the sun. Animals is the thing for me. So whether this is, yeah, like for dogs or for cats or whatever, whichever animal, whichever fur baby you'd like to tune into, that is what we're reading for. So what does pile number one's fur baby think of them? What does pile number one's fur baby think of them? They're so proud of you. They're so, they're so proud of you. They love you so much and they, they have this twinkle in their eye. So we're tuning into animals at this point, right? So the amount of love energy is just so pure. And so they're also very innocent. So when they see you, it's it's the same, you know, they're pure souls. They're just animals are so pure in general, period. So when they see you and what they think of you, pound number one, is that they feel like you're so Mm. they're proud of you they see you accomplishing things they don't really know what you're doing 99.99 percent of the time but they just see you making things happen they see you making they just see you living your best life and they don't know if you're living your best life or not they just assume that you are they see you celebrating they see they, and they want to celebrate with you they just want to be a part of it all you know and they see you going after the things that you want i feel like you are relatively fast paced of a person of a lifestyle or so that's how they view you they feel like something's always happening they feel like your life is moving fast and they love that and they they love being a part of the pace of your lifestyle whatever pace it is that you're on to them it feels fast to them whether you agree or not maybe i don't know i feel like pile number one your your life is fast in general so i don't feel like that's a wrong assessment that your pet has made on you they just feel they also feel like you're going fast and they love looking into your eyes when they look at you they are so in love you know when someone is just looking at you and they are so in admiration of you that's what's happening when it comes to your fur baby pile number one yeah they feel like they have they they're so blessed to be in your life they are so they have all their wishes fulfilled they cannot wait to live more life with you and they see you working really hard they sometimes just wonder when they're gonna get to spend more time with you but at the same time they're patient I wouldn't be surprised if mm, pal number one, your your pet is a, a dog that we're reading for, but I just see like pearly black eyes. So, you know, even, hey, that can even mean snakes. That can mean turtles. In some cases, in some cases, a fish, a pet fish, 
but I feel just pearly, beautiful black eyes. You know, they miss you sometimes, but it's very momentary. They don't, you know, when they see you, they forget about all the time that has passed. So, I, you know, if you ever feel bad for leaving them at home or if you go on vacation, I really don't feel like you need to worry about that or think about that at all because when you come back, they forget about all the time that has passed when, you know, when you were not there. Yes, they miss you and yes, they wonder where you are, but your your fur baby your animal your pet thinks about the time like they're so in the moment they're so present and they're so happy to be a part of your family and when you come back you're just back and it's as if you never left you know the time away from each other doesn't even really matter because hey you came back Yeah, sometimes they see you frustrated at some things and they really empathize on that. You know, sometimes I feel like your animal is so positive that they forget about all the negatives, but sometimes, you know, they're not stupid. They they feel you, they see you, and they hear you. Like they're they're psychic in their own way. So, don't underestimate how much your 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 fur baby knows about you because when you're sad when you're going through something they really can feel that they're like what's what do you what's upon number one going through and they don't really understand but they can feel that you're feeling a little dense like they're feeling a little frustrated or whatever you're going through they do feel it and i'm not sure if i made made it clear enough like you know when you guys leave for however long, maybe it's even for just an hour or for a day or for a month. Yeah, it's tough on them in the way that they miss you, but when you come back, it's as if no time has even passed. They forget about all the time that you were away for, so I feel like the advice coming through when it comes to that is to don't feel guilty or feel bad that you're away you know you have to live your life this is this is just what happens when it comes to life and they won't even remember that you were gone when you guys are reunited again so And sometimes they just notice that you're going through something and they wish they can help you more. Honestly, they really wish that they can help you more because whenever I see them noticing you going through something or stressed about something, I just see question marks all over their head. They're like, I don't know, how. what do you need? Do you need toothpaste? Do you need... Do you need a rock? Do you, do you want me to go get you a stick? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you need? Like, um, and they just feel a little helpless, but at the same time, they're sending you love. They're constantly sending you love. I think that's what they do. That's the only thing they know how to do is that they, when they see that you need more love, they give you the love energetically. I feel, I see them sending, like actually purposely and actively sending love to you. Yeah, they, they're really proud of you. Again, I feel like that's the first thing I said about you guys, Palmer One. They just see you making things happen, and they're so happy to be a part of it all. So that's your reading, Palm Number One. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I post videos every single week. Bye for now. Hello, Palm Number Two. How are we all doing? Let's find out what your fur baby thinks of you. So this can be any animal could be a dog, could be a cat, could be your fish, could be your snake, could be your rabbit, could be your horse, whatever. What Your gorilla, I don't know what pets you guys have, so whatever pet, whatever fur baby you have. And I'm so excited to do this reading because animals is life. When it comes to life and when I travel, I love to see animals. Animals is my thing. So, let's see. What does pile number two's fur baby think of them? How number two's fur baby think of them? Hmm. Oh, they love you so much. I feel like your animal is a so family oriented type of pet. You know, they are so cozy with you. They they feel the love from you, and they love you so much. And I feel like they love what they enjoy most about your connection is seeing you 
connect with other people as well like they they love watching you be so brilliant and vibrant they see you as such a i mean that's how they see you they see you as loving and vibrant and so s soft and warm and cozy they they see you as a safe place they see you as someone that is somewhere that they can find comfort so you know pile number one was more fast-paced with you guys pile number two is more it, it feels slower it feels more calm it feels more relaxed and your pet is so content with you and the life that you guys get to live together sometimes they wonder where you go sometimes sometimes they wonder why you're not there sometimes but at the end of the day i feel like your pet thinks so highly of you they feel like you're able to work magic <laughs> sometimes they literally see you as a magician because they they don't know how you feed them like why do you if you have a cat like why are, why where are you bringing my litter like they they're so confused but also they're just accepting but at the same time they're super confused like where did you get that bone like they don't understand that you know because they're pets they're animals they don't they don't they're not human so they don't think about filling up gas and they don't know how to do that and they don't know how to go to the grocery store and get the food so in their mind they think that you went to go hunt the food down and you brought it to them you know they see you as a the leader of the pack and they see you as someone that's able to provide for the family and provide for them and they just feel so comfortable like i almost feel like there's this tribe mentality or this pack mentality i mean of them feeling that they feel so included and so a part of the pack and you're the leader of the pack they respect you they feel at ease with you and they think that you're really smart they think that you're so capable of conquering anything that needs to be conquered pile number two you know with your reading pile number two i feel like it's a lot more simpler because i don't know what type of pet i'm reading for your pet is a very simple minded creature though you know they love you so much because you have the ace of cups they feel your love they love you they respect you they feel comfortable with you and this is so ideal they're living their ideal life you know if you don't let's see is there anything that pile number two's pet want more of There's so many swords here. So you guys are very intellectual. They find you very smart. You're able to get what you want to get and they feel like you're able to get for them what they need as well. And they love playing with you. They love interacting with you. Sometimes I feel like they're, okay, take it however it resonates, but sometimes you're, you play too rough with them and they wonder why you're being so rough with them. Because I feel like the temperament of your animal is very soothing. It's, it's gentle. It's a gentle type of creature that you have in your life. And so sometimes when you're too rough with them or sometimes when your friends come over and they're really excited, overly excited and, you know, rough with them in a loving way, though. You know, I don't, I don't feel like there's any sort of abuse. There's nothing like that. So it really is just a higher energy they, and they can't seem to match that energy because that's not who they naturally are. You know, think of someone that is more introverted or someone that's more calm, calm in nature. And then someone that's super extroverted and super high energy and coming up towards your pet. And there's, they're a little bit shocked in a way sometimes and they feel like they need to rebalance themselves with that type of energy so that's the only thing when it comes to like little nuances that happen in your day-to-day -day life with your lovely fur baby with your pet other than that like he your pet just has a an, 
they, they I love spending time with you and they they feel friendly with you they feel like you're friendly with them it's a super safe comforting type of energy that I feel when it comes to you and your adorable loving pet that you have mm -hmm. they love creating memories with you and they actually you know your your animal is quite smart you know they they have they, rem they reminisce, they have the ability to reminisce on past times they've had with you too. So I feel like your animal is quite sentimental. So that means they find comfort in how you usually are. Like they know you're, you're able to do this and that and that. And they ex almost expect you to be able to continue to do this, that and that for them. And they like to have a stable home. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they're more homebodies type of animal. Although they love going out with you and you only. They mostly like to, they're, they're creatures of habits. You know, they like to stick to a routine type of animal. They like the comfort of their own bed, their own home. They don't like too much change or shifts. It's that type of energy. So that's reading half for you guys, pile number two. If you liked it, help me boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I post every single week and I'll see you in another one. Bye for now. Hello, pile number three. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Let's find out what your pet thinks of you. And this can be any pet, it could be a horse, it could be a dog, it could be a cat, a snake, turtle, whatever it is that your lovely animal is. I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys. I don't feel like any other reader has done a reading like this. I don't know. I haven't checked. Maybe there is. But pile number three, what does your fur baby think of you? Oh, your pet, your animal thinks you're super creative and super passionate and they love seeing you smile. They love seeing you when you're happy and vibrant. They, they, get, they get so much out of you being happy because they really soak in that energy. So I feel like your pet is super connected to you, pond number three. So when you're feeling a kind of way, they can really feel it as well. So, you know, humility, devotion to knowledge, open to lifelong learning. So they can see that you're so curious about the world and your animal appreciates that about you. They feel as though they're able, they admire your view of life and they almost, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people have said to you in the past like you and your animal you and your cat you and your dog looks the same you guys have the same facial expressions you guys kind of have the similar features you guys are almost kind of like quit twinsies you you and your animal they they mirror you your your animal mirrors you quite heavily so when you're going through something they can feel it when you're happy they're super happy when you're sad they're looking at you and I wouldn't be surprised if they do something like they take their paw and they go at your face or if they meow at you or if they bark at you if you have a horse and they they do something they they notice they they try to they, they try to snap you out of your funk that's what they do and they see you guys as really diverse I want to say very creative, very passionate. They really feel your heart energy is what I'm trying to say. Pioneer. Yeah, they see you as someone that's, they enjoy, they chose you to be their leader. On a soul level, they chose you to be their owner. Be why? Because they see, I mean, this is, this is a divine partnership, you and your pet. I didn't realize we were going to get so deep for pet reading, but when it comes to you guys, pound number three, you guys are meant to be together. It's, it's very synchronized. You guys are soulmates and you guys are really connected. You guys are pretty much one unit when it comes to you and your animal. Passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Yeah, because you guys together, the energy together 
makes that pioneer energy. They respect you a lot, your animal, and they see you doing big things on a soul level, right? This is not on a, like an animal, like physical level, but on a soul connection, contractual level. You guys are meant to join forces in a way energetically and lead the way in life. They're almost like your sidekick. Like I see you as Batman and your pet is Robin and they're helping you in your path. They are so, such a blessing of an angel that is almost in pet form that's guiding you and helping you through your day-to-day -day life through, with your mood, with insights, with the way that you know, you're here to create and your animal is there as your sidekick to help you. I did not realize this was going to be so deep, but this is really truly the case with you guys, pile number three. Yeah, and the way that they see you, pile number three, your animal sees you as someone that is capable. You know, they, they see you creating things, they feel you creating things, you know, they're animals, so there's only so much cognitive understanding they, that they have, but your pet truly understands. Like, your pet is really smart, actually. For an animal, for a cat, for a dog, they are really smart, intellectual type of pets, too, just like you are. You guys are also smart and intellectual, so they mirror that about you, and what they think about you is that they are so happy to be a part of this journey with you just like you have also showed gratitude to them that you're so happy that they're on the journey of life with them as well sometimes they feel like you pity yourself or that you get down about it and they really oh we already talked about this yeah they try to snap you out of it when you're depressed whenever you're feeling a kind of funk they try to snap you out of it in whatever way, shape, or form. It's really cute, actually. I don't know how they do it, but it's really cute. And I'm, I know you notice it, and sometimes you question it. Like, does, do, do you know that, how did you know I was going through something? Like, you're so in your sauce that you lose sight of your reality, and then your pet, you forget your pet's there, and he or she does something, and you're like, how did you know I was feeling that way? I feel like there were moments that you've had like that with your with your animal. Liberator, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thoughts and patterns. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we were just talking about sometimes you get into little droughts and they, they see that and they see you going through and they're actually really proud of you, of you transcending and transmuting denser energies through you and they've seen it with their psychic mind that they you've done that and so they almost play as a witness to your growth yeah they see you as shapeshifters because they've seen you become this and they've seen you become that your animal sees you as a very sees very highly of you pile number three they see you capable of adapting to situations adapting to life circumstances they are very proud and they feel just right being with you and being a part of your life. Hmm. That you guys are very, hmm. they really appreciate your sense of wonder. They really appreciate, your animal really appreciates your sense of wanting to learn more and do more they and they witness you doing that and they they think it's really cool um to witness you going, doing that so that's reading for you guys pound number three i hope you like that if you did help me boop that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so i post weekly i post every single week and i'll see you in another reading bye for now hello pound number four how are we all doing thank you so much for letting me read for you Let's find out what your animal thinks of you. And this can be any pets, any animals, dog, horses, cats, snakes, rabbits, rats, whatever your pet is, let's find out what your fur baby thinks of you. They get really worried about you when you go through distress or go through something like they really empathize with you. I almost feel like they try to comfort you I don't know how they comfort you, but they really try their best to do so. 
They see you as someone that feels a little bit distracted right now. Your animal feels as though you have a lot going on. And they see the turmoil that you're going through. Like animals are so smart. They're able to see right through the human experience. They see your soul. They see your emotions. They feel your emotions. They feel your soul. And so they feel as though right now you're going through a lot. You're transcending, you're healing, you are experiencing a breakthrough. They see you going on this journey and, you know, a part of them, there's this, of course, there's this unconditional love that they have for you and they almost wonder, your animal is interesting. They have this sense of wonder, like they wonder, like how, what are what are you going to do next? Like, where are you going? There's a sense of wonder. And I have to say there is a sense of worry as well when it comes to you and what you're going through. So I don't know what you need to do if you comfort them more. But at the same time, you are going through a lot. And they see that you're going through a lot. So I feel like hmm, pile number th four. Pile number four. What does their pet think of them? Hmm. I feel like your your animal is is, is a wise old soul. I really feel that. It's a wise old soul kind of an energy. Okay, yeah, because when I feel into your pet's energy, I feel like they want to father you, they want to mother you, they want to care for you, and they are looking over you. So, believe it or not, your pet is actually bringing this it's like your pet is the orchestra of your army of angels and they're looking over you and they're orchestrating like they're almost orchestrating like hey angel over there you need to help her with that there angel over there i think you need to go there and help him over there you know he or she your pet is this is so interesting you never know what comes out of these readings <laughs> this is so deep so your pet acts as a guardian angel that orchestrates other angels that are helping you right now. Because right now I feel like your your pet sees you going through something in your life and he or she is helping you go through that in a very grand way. You know, they see that, okay, Archangel over there, I need you to do this for that for them. And angel over there you need to go and re go retrieve that over there for for them right now please in the next 48 hours let's go like they're almost playing a managerial role and i feel shivers all over my back why am i feeling shivers all over my back i guess this is just you know a confirmation that that is what is happening when it comes to your relationship with your animal and how they see you right now they just see you going through it a little bit and they're helping they're actively sending help to you energetically with other deities and other um divine highest spiritual selves that are that are coming at you right now they're helping oh my gosh yeah so right now what they think about you is that i mean we i think it's pretty clear what they think of you right now they just see you they just see you going through through life and you know the trials and tribulations that come with life sometimes and they see you going through a deep purge deep deep purge so whether that means i don't know how that manifested it can manifest in different ways it doesn't really matter to your pet how that manifests so maybe we don't even want to talk about it but on a human to human level between you and I, that can mean, I don't know, like you're getting rid of a friend group, you're breaking up with someone, or you're just transitioning with careers, some, something on those lines, whatever resonates and, and applies to your situation, pile number four. But your pet, they're quite similar to spirits and and fairies, and because they, they're more of a feeling based creatures so they feel and see what you're going through on a soul level and what you're going through they what they think about you is that yeah they're, you're, go, you're going through a purge in life right now so they understand on a soul level what that means so they feel like maybe you're taking it too deep you're taking it you're being 
sometimes you can be too harsh on yourself or, t or taking it too serious sometimes as well, I want to say. So they're really helping lightening up the energy for you right now. So let's see. Yeah, and sometimes, you know what, when, you know, you're going through it sometimes and maybe you're going through it right now and this is just how they see you, right? Whether you feel like this is really how you are, like you cannot BS your pets, you cannot BS God and spirit, you cannot BS, like, you, you can't just put on a fake smile and they're, they're going to feel how you really feel. And so they're, you know... They, sometimes they know they can't do anything. They just, you know, look at you and spend time with you and they are just going to be there for you. They, they know they can't do too much. So, some, I mean, they're doing a lot. Honestly, your pet is doing a lot for you. I can really say that for them. At the same time, they know that there's a time and place for a certain thing. So sometimes they're just staring at you and being there for you and sometimes that's all you need and they really are there for you. If there's someone that you can trust and rely on is your pet. They put so much love and attention to you. They really do. And they see that you're just going through a lot of changes right now and they're excited for your future. They're excited that you're going through these changes because that means you're coming closer and closer to your best self and they just know and anticipate that you're gonna become your happy, bubbly, amazing self in no time. So that's your reading pile number four. I hope you liked it. If you did, help me boop that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I post videos every single week and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.